Warning, this video may cause you to leave a like or even subscribe. Please, don't stop yourself. Android for life, yay! Yeah. What's up, people? This is Fluffy Bunny, Viva La Android, and today I have the top 10 apps and widgets that you probably did not know about. And these are some pretty crazy ones. You guys are gonna love them. Okay, let's jump right into it. The first one is MP3 Amplifier, and what this does is just make your song basically louder. As loud as you want, actually. Um, so you go to the Add Sign Plus, and then you search for a song. I'm gonna put Bullseye. You check it and then you press check over here and then over here you can make it up to 8 if you put it up to 8 it's kind of too much it gets too wishy like a uh, 4.5 is pretty good or 4.3 somewhere around there it gets pretty loud but it still stays clear and if you have like over the head headphones kind of like uh, beats or sony studios it sounds amazing the bass gets louder so you press amplify after you're done and then it starts doing it right here. Drag it down and then it tells you how much the percent is. It saves it as a new song, like the same song name, but it says amplified after. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish. Fail. Think it's done? It's done, it tells you it's done. You go to your music player. This is the original song, how loud it is. I'm put on full volume. And if you go back, it says amplified. Okay, I don't know why I didn't name it. It usually does this like the same song and it says amplified next to it. And just... Yeah, it gets pretty loud. I mean, I don't know if you'd notice it because of the mic on the camera, but it does get pretty loud, way louder than usual. So the second app is Quantro, and this is a game. It's kind of like a bootleg Tetris matrix kind of style <laughs> it's weird but it's actually kind of fun so and you can play uh, online too that's the only thing that annoys me is that has this ad so anyway let's play by the way if you guys didn't know you can move any ad off any app just by turn off your wi-fi and your data so you're not connected to the internet and it moves the uh, ad just saying so you press this and then you use these buttons to flip it so you guys are gonna think this is just like tetris but it's not okay so you slide it you press the bottom to slide it left and right and you flip it so I flipped it I'm waiting for a red one to come if you click the little neon color in the bottom it makes it go fast okay so the red ones go over it it's kind of like not over it but like okay this is the blue one and then the red one comes in front of it so it's kind of like you're playing two games of Tetris at once see that it's uh, right in front of it and then if you like put this one over here slide it they connect they form one shape put it over here it's gonna form a shape Boom. And then let me show you guys what happens if you put a blue one behind it. Forms the shape. And then you just, just like Tetris, you have to knock down the lines, line by line. And it's pretty fun. Third app is Flashlight. And I know I've reviewed a Flashlight app before, but this one's pretty cool. It's a regular flashlight. You know, it has all the regular flashlight stuff. But the thing that I like about this is the strobe light. It's faster than all the other strobe lights I've tested. See how fast it's blinking? I don't think my camera's catching it. It's blinking so fast that it looks like it's just one light. Let me slow it down a little. You guys can see that? It's really, really fast. When you look at it at night, it's just like a flashbang. Okay, the third app is Jot, and this is the widget. It's right here. So like, let's say you, you're in a hurry and you just want to type something, click this, and it comes up, and you just type, let's say I listen to the radio and I found this song, Kid Cudi, Dat Noonie, and I want to download it later, but I don't want to forget about it. Just click this, type it, press jot, and you're done. It's pretty useful that you have different kinds of widgets if you don't want people to read it. There's a widget that looks like this, where you click it and then it just comes up like this. So you can't read it like that. And there's a bigger widget than this and a smaller one. It's really useful. Third app is Sketchy. And what this app is, it's the sketch for Kick, the Kick Messenger. You can make it as wide as you want. Sketchy, the normal one. You only have one brush that's white, and that's it. You can't even erase. This one, you have all these colors, and I'm gonna make it blue. And you can change your brush size, okay? You can add an image over this. You can send it on Kick, you can save it, or you can uh, clear it. I'll draw like this, press send, and I'm gonna send it to myself. Boom, and it's cool. You can open it and draw over it and stuff fast reboot and this is kind of a widget you can't really click it and go into the app all you do is just click it and it kind of clears everything that's running in the background just to speed up your phone it's really useful like there's some stuff that the task manager can't kill that's always running in the background you see all the stuff that it kills if you can't kill it it just refreshes it which makes it a little faster must have app right here dream pick this is a photo editing app so i got this picture and it tells you 
this one okay and i like the effects in this app and it looks nice see that it looks like the sky is glowing from this effect I took this picture in downtown detroit that's a gm building and then you can put frames too this is one frame that i really like where is it this one the film frame it's really nice it goes on top of the picture and you can add labels you can rotate it and you can save it just by clicking the picture click save processing picture was saved okay post picture twitter facebook tumblr or this slab thing yeah you can add note to it and send it the eighth app is muzzy and this app has all the editing like all the top editing apps in one when you click it it takes you straight to the play store to download it taking me to the play store for pixie because i have the pixie pro but anyway you download it and then after that when you click it it just takes you straight to the app you go back and forth from these if you guys like editing photos and stuff just get this app and it's, it, you'll have all these in one place the ninth app is a widget and it's this widget a lot of people have been asking me about it and this is how it comes it comes like this i'll show you guys it's called application folder one by one folder or a two by one this is the one I have and then after you click it it reads your apps and you can make a new folder this is a folder I already have you make a new folder and you can choose the icon for it this is after you, when you click it what happens you want it as a window view and stuff the one I have is a bubble view grid makes the icons next to each other like that the bubble view normal is listed like the way I have click apply and exit and it's right there you can choose from a wide range of icons to match your folder. So I have all these for photo. You can change the name of it and it looks makes your home screen look nice. Look at that. I have games right here and I have photos right here. And the last app is App Protector. What this app does is it protects your apps basically. You're gonna need it to set up a password, either a pattern password or another password. So let's say you give it to your friends and you want them going through your pictures or your messages or something. All you have to do is put this widget right here for it. Click the widget and you see it turns on. Okay, so you turn it on and then let's say you have Instagram locked so no one can go into it. You click it and the pattern required comes up. And then you have to slide the pattern for you to get access for the app. You don't have to make it a pattern, you can make a text or a number password. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything that you guys want to make sure that I read, if you have questions and you want me to reply to them, I do reply to all questions now, but not in the comments. I mean, you can ask me down there, and I do reply to some comments in the video, but I reply to all comments on my new Twitter, Vivala Android. Twitter at Vivala Android so make sure to follow that please just go and follow that Twitter right there and I do tweet you back 100% of the time maybe not right on the minute but I do tweet you back questions if you got anything to show me pictures anything you know just tweet me so make sure to go follow that and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed these apps as always a like on this video would be appreciated make sure to subscribe for more apps apps that you did not know about and tutorials so thank you guys so much for watching and yeah Peace.